So we are now in the dry mill uh, at Las Cruces for the Hassel Group. So this is where the coffee comes after it's after it's uh, dried, um, either on the tables or on the patio. So they store it here in uh, separate stacks, sorted by lots. So you can see here there are tags for each and every uh, micro lot they produce. That clearly states what farm it is, you know, when it's uh, dried, and uh, all kind of uh, traceability information. So each lot is identified by a code. For for example, here it is lot 73, and this this lot 73 we know the date in the record book, the date it came into a mill, the date it came out of the Patro African bed, and where is it stored. Each of the lots uh, is assigned a code, uh, no matter how big the lot is or how small the lot is, but that's how we follow the traceability. In when we are going to prepare for export, we know how to ident identify each lot. After the coffee has been after 40 to 60 days in rest, it, with the first stage is to go through the hauling where we remove the parchment. Uh, the capacity of this hauler is 80 quintales per hour of parchment, equivalent to 800 pounds of parchment per hour. After the hauler, the coffee goes up to this machine where it will sort by screen size. After the holder, the coffee arrives to a screen size. Here, and depending on the preparation we are doing, we separate screen 15 and above, and also we separate the feebery by the mechanical machine. The feebery is this coffee I have in my hand that we will separate from the lot and then sell it as a pepperi lot. Then the density sorter machine where we we call it Oliver machine. In here we separate first hand, second hand and third hand coffee. The first hand coffee will immediately go through a flow to the electronic sorter machine. The second and the third hand coffee will go to a plug back again to this machine to resort first, second, and third hand coffee. So here we have uh, three electronic sorter machines, uh, which are chromatic, which are chromatic and monochromatic. Uh, the one in the first over there is better to separate color defects. This two uh, is, is better to separate black defects, like broken bean or, or berry borer, Black defect and color defect. From there, it will normally go to manual hand sorting, at least in the case of our coffees, like the, the, the higher qualities. Uh, and then it's bagged uh, and shipped in containers.